Is this happening to you? then you're in the right place for video game training. In this video, we'll take a look at how to defeat Zhang Liao on Wolong Fallen Dynasty. Okay, so with this fight, he basically has two modes, one where he's buffed with the lightning and one where he's not buffed with the lightning. We want to play insanely defensively when he's buffed with lightning and we want to play hyper aggressively when he's not buffed with lightning. So when he is buffed with lightning, we're basically gonna do a tactical run away and just keep on running away and baiting his red critical attacks. He'll do a red critical where he jumps up in the air and then heads on down towards you and he does another critical where he kind of jabs forward you want to delay your deflect slightly for each of the criticals as they can take a second to actually reach your character you have to be really careful to avoid his lightning in this phase so just dodge backwards or just dodge to the side to avoid his lightning. You can be a little bit spammy with the deflect button when you're trying to dodge and deflect his normal attacks and his lightning attacks. The room is quite large, so use the edges of the room and just keep on running around in circles and baiting these red critical attacks. After doing this for a while, you'll eventually break his stance. Before delivering the fatal strike, use toxin weapon and then elemental plague, then deliver the fatal strike, then use absorb vitality and enhance defense. We can use toxin weapon to apply poison to him, so so the poison is now doing damage over time and elemental plague increases the rate at which we apply poison to him so it applies it faster and because we've broken his stance it actually takes the lightning away from him and just puts him into normal mode so in normal mode our normal attacks will actually stagger him a little bit the combination of absorb vitality and enhanced defense lets us be insanely aggressive enhanced defense means that we won't get knocked back from standard attacks and absorb vitality means that we're absorbing health as we're dealing damage so even if he's attacking you you can just be insanely aggressive and just keep on attacking him. You'll be getting your health back and you won't be getting knocked back because of the buffs that we've just used. The only thing to mention when doing this tactic is if he does a critical attack then your enhanced defense won't defend against that and it will do a lot of damage to you so you still have to deflect or dodge the critical attacks. After a little while he'll try and jump away and rebuff himself with lightning again. Just be careful when he does this because there is a massive amount of lightning that will surround him and it can do an insane amount of damage to you so just be really careful and make sure to back up out of the way when he does this. Essentially at this point it's just kind of a rinse and repeat once again. Use the arena to your advantage and just keep on running around the sides of the arena looking out for and baiting those red critical attacks. When his health gets a little bit lower he'll start to do double critical attacks. After he does the critical attack where he jumps up in the air and you deflect that one he'll likely then do the critical stab straight afterwards. So just be really careful of this double critical attack that he does when his health gets lower. If you can deflect both back to back then you'll do a massive amount of spirit damage to him. As you're running around the arena, you might get caught in a few of his attacks. If your health does drop a little bit, I would recommend popping some potions to keep it topped up because some of his attacks can do massive damage. The best time to pop a healing potion is usually after he's jumped up into the air and then thrown a lightning bolt into the floor. There's usually about one or two seconds to take an action whilst he's doing this. Sometimes it will just stop in the middle of the room and start to recharge his spirit bar a bit. If that's the case, you could use that chance to heal up or rebuff. And if you wanted to, you could even fire off a few arrows at him whilst is doing that. You could also use the item anti-static needle to help defend against the lightning a little bit. The main thing with this fight is just to be really patient when he's buffed with lightning. Make sure to keep tactically retreating when he is buffed with lightning. One thing to mention is as his health gets lower he tends to stay in the lightning buffed version a lot more and sometimes you might find that he just rebuffs himself with lightning straight after you deliver your fatal strike. Don't get frustrated if he does rebuff himself with lightning. Just rinse and repeat these tactics depending on the phase that he's in and before you know it you'll have this fight in the bag. This is the equipment that we used for the fight. These are the two accessories that we used. These are the spells that we used. And these are my character's stats. If you want to continue your video game training, then check out one of these videos right here. I've covered loads of games such as Elden Ring, Sekiro, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, Neo 2, Ninja Gaiden, and loads more. Some videos have just popped up right now. Feel free to check them out and give them a click. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.